Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Nick Clark for the 2013 Western States 100. How you doing, Nick? Good, Brian. How you, bud? All right. You got this race pretty well figured out, it seems. Yeah, but I've never run at 100 degree temperatures. So. No, no. <laughs> I mean, there's one thing running under 60. The only person to run under 16 twice. Yeah. A couple third place finishes. But 100 degrees. I know. Yeah. So that's a whole new element. So. How does that change things? Do you feel? How do you run in the heat? I, you know, all right, not great, not terrible, mm -hmm. somewhere in between. So uh, I'm not worrying about it too much, and we'll just see what, what the day brings, as always. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, doesn't seem like you've raced a whole lot this spring. Did you purposely go a little easy, or? Yeah, I tried to dial back the mileage a little bit, and also the the racing, so I could kind of have a really solid training block, and um, that's what I have done. You know, Lake Sonoma was a was a decent race, and. Uh, then I ran a, a local marathon the, the weekend after that, which wasn't a great idea. Uh, <laughs> I felt kind of terrible for two mm -hmm. weeks after that. So uh, that was kind of stupid. But uh, no, after I got through that kind of two week period of leg sludge, uh, the, you know, since then it's been great. I've been feeling so, super good. And yeah. Yeah. Just had a great run this morning up on the five legs trail up to the, the backside of Squaw there. And uh, yeah, so feeling good. Feeling good. No mm -hmm. setbacks in the, you know, this whole season really, right? No, no, not really. No, no, no injury issues or just been good, steady so training. Primed. Yeah. Uh, you, like I said, you've been real steady the last couple of years. Always new talent coming to Western States. Yeah, for sure. Who, who are the wild cards this year? Who are those new folks that are just? Uh, well, you know, could uh, go you know, for the win. Yeah, good uh, for the win. Uh, um, you know, uh, you know, outside of the guys that everybody's talking about, uh, there's a guy from Idaho, Jeremy Humphreys, who I think. Uh, might surprise a few people. Mm -hmm. um, he kind of reminds me of myself uh, in 2010 when like, you know, nobody knew who the hell I was and uh, just kind of snuck in there and had a great race. I think he's going to have a good run. Um, Jake Ridman, Reedman, my, my buddy Jake, uh, I think he'll have a good run. He seems like he's fit and obviously he knows the course and mm -hmm. you know he's a Western States geek. So. And that I, helps. Uh, I mean, yeah. it helped Thornley in the AJW in the years, it helped Yuhan last year. Right. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's his first time running it, his second hundred. But he knows the course. He knows how to pace himself on it. So I think he'll go well. Uh, Joe Yuhan had a great run at Lake Sonoma. Really impressed me. I think Joe's going to have a good run. Um, my buddy uh, Petitella from Colorado. You think he's going to surprise some folks? I, I think he might sneak in the top 10, you know, because okay. he, he's steady, consistent. And, uh, you know, like we've been saying, it's going to be a hot day. So There's going to be lots of attrition. Yeah. Which leads um, me perfectly to fit, ask you. Oh, 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 I, know, I was going to say, you know, one guy who I, I, people are probably pretty familiar with, but haven't really been talking about is Jorge. I think Jorge is going to have a good run. Don't tell him I told you that, but I think he's going to have He won't know. <laughs> no one tell Jorge. <laughs> um, it is going to be hot. Yeah. But you've also, I mean, you've finished third twice in a row, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, year. how do you, do you know, do you, do you go, you run really smart, consistent races. Yeah. Do you have the, the urge to just go for the gusto from the start? Are you going to run Nick Clark? No, no, Textbook no. Textbook race. Hitler, I mean, here's what's going to happen. It's going to be a hot day, like we said, and there's going to be a lot of people who kind of fall off the pace later in the race. I think it's going to take 15.30 to 15.45 to win it. Mm -hmm. So you pace your race to, to run that kind of finish time. And, uh, you know, if I, if I can run in that range, then I think I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be in the mix. So uh, we'll see. I, the way I think it's probably going to go out is there'll be uh, a lead pack. Uh, that'll probably go out hard, uh, and then a, a chase back. And I, I see myself being in that chase back. Gotcha. Anything you do special? Any tips for people dealing with running in the heat? Or oh what's no, your plan? geez, I'm from England, man. We, <laughs> <laughs> we should know how to have to. It's not natural right, for you. No, no, yeah, right. <laughs> we run in the rain and the, and you know in the fog out there. Uh, you know, through the heat of the day, you, you slow it down, of course. Um, so you consciously do that? Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you really can't help but run slow, mm -hmm. but I think consciously you need to dial it back. And of course, you've got to, you've got to make sure that you, you, you're making use of the creek crossings to, to dip your hat, to douse, um, cool off your quads and get ice at all the aid stations and make sure you're dousing at the aid stations. And yeah. Just, you know, do what you can to stay cool. So if you're gonna have to back off during the heat of the day, does it mean yeah. you maybe push a little more early? Well, I've been thinking about that. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think there is something to be said for that strategy. Maybe push a little through to, 
Uh, maybe Robinson and then cruise the downhill when it mm -hmm. starts getting a little toasty. But it, it's still pretty well, you know, you got good cover through there. So the heat won't be too bad, I'm hoping. All the way down to Swingin' Bridge. Right. And then, yeah, once you get on Swingin' Bridge, that's, I mean, it's hot down there. And you're walking up a steep hill. Yeah. I mean, I assume um, you, you were walking when I saw you. Well, last. yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a hike run yeah. type of thing, 60-40 maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a good spring right across from um, Swinging Bridge, so you make sure you make take full advantage of that. Get your hat wet, get get your clothes sop in, uh, and then you get your head down and you hoof up uh, to Devil's Thumb, and then you got to get through to Michigan Bluff, which is just a grind and grunt, mm -hmm. um, and then the race is on from there. There you go. One like the rest of us, grunts further back in the pack. You don't have to factor in the like. I get to deal with a little cooling off maybe in the evening. You're going to be hopefully finishing right about. Yeah, it's still, still going to be hot out. It's going to be hot. It's always hot down on the river. Um, even last year, it felt a little hot mm -hmm. going down on the river, um, and that was like 75 maybe. It's going to be better than that. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be 25 degrees hotter. So it's going to be really hot going mm -hmm. down there. Um, and then up to Green Gate, of course, it's super exposed. So that's going to be super hot. And then you get it in the trees. Uh, so I'm hoping once once we get past Green Gate, it'll, it'll be a little more manageable. And, those people who have saved their legs, that's where it's all going to happen, the last 20 miles. I guess you're going to be one of those people saving your legs. We'll see. Trying to go better that third place, right? <laughs> that's, <a plan>. that's always <laughs> Best of luck out there, Clark. All right, thanks, Brian. Yep. Yeah, good seeing you.